Maybe you just bought your new PC, or perhaps you're looking for some programs to install on your current PC that happen to be free. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you three free PC programs that ev I personally at least believe every PC should have. And at the end, I'm going to throw in a bonus program that is great for content creation. Howdy, my name is Timmy, here with Sirius Power PC, and the set probably looks a little bit different, that's because I'm actually currently in my room, because I'm working on equipping the other set in my office with some brand new equipment, so I apologize for the little scene change. But if you're excited for this week's video, go ahead and leave a like, that would greatly show your support and get more of our videos in your algorithm, as well as subscribing with the bell on, because we're hopefully going to be doing some live streams coming soon. Now let's get straight into the video. The first program I would recommend that's completely free to install on your PC is Revo Uninstaller. Now if you watch any Jay's Two Cents videos, you will have probably heard him talk about this program. That's actually where I heard about this program from about six months ago. And I've been using it for six months now, and I can say it saves a whole lot of time and significantly increases performance. Basically, what Revo Uninstaller does is not only does it uninstall like let's just say for example you wanted to install uh, a game well if you uninstall that game just with the built-in uninstaller or with steam or whatever there's a good chance that registry files and a bunch of files are going to get left over which will clog up your system slow down performance and generally negatively affect your pc so what revo uninstaller does is it goes in it finds those registry files anything associated with that app that you're uninstalling and it goes and uninstalls them as well as an example we're actually going to hop on my pc right now and uninstall a program with revo uninstaller we have revo uninstaller open here and for this example specifically i want to uninstall install VLC media player so locate whatever you want to delete and then go ahead and click on that right click and click uninstall make a system restore point before uninstall you can uncheck that but it's basically going to protect your system further if you have that check so go ahead and hit continue it'll create a system restore point and then it'll basically go you through the program's actual uninstaller so we're gonna see right here that is uninstalling from the proper place we're gonna click next. We are going to delete preferences and cache, and then we're going to hit uninstall. Okay, it's uninstalled. You may think, oh, the program's completely uninstalled. I'm perfectly fine. That's where Revo Uninstaller comes in handy. Go ahead and click here on finish, and as you'll see, this pop-up has not gone away. That's because we're about to perform a system scan for registry files. So if advanced isn't selected, I believe moderate is selected by default, but go ahead. I like to put it on advanced because that makes sure it gets rid of all files associated with the program and hit scan. Then that will show us, oh my goodness gracious, there's quite a bit of stuff that VLC has left over. So just hit select all and then delete here. Are you sure you want to delete the selected items? Yes. And would you look at that? There's even more. We'll go ahead and select all, confirming that all of those are associated with VLC. We'll hit delete, delete the selected items, and then they will be deleted during the next system restart. So you can click finish, and that is all traces of VLC media player completely gone from your PC thanks to Revo Uninstaller. It's a great tool that does have a paid option if you want to support Revo. I personally have the free version because that's all I need. Some features are locked behind a paywall, but all of your basic features, basically uninstalling stuff, being able to locate stuff, stuff like that, that is all included in the free version. Everything you would most likely need is included in the free version. I'll leave a link to this in the description down below. Next up on the list, we have MSI Afterburner. This is really just a good piece of software overall that you should have on your PC, especially if you're gaming. It allows you to fine-tune different parts of your system, like overclocking your RAM, 
I believe you can overclock your CPU and GPU from inside of the program as well, but what a lot of people consider the most useful feature of this free software is the in-game overlay to show your computer's performance, whether it be your GPU temperatures, your frames per second. That's a big thing that a lot of people like is to be able to see their exact frames in-game. That is, I would say, one of the most useful and well-built features of this piece of software is the in-game overlay. So I don't have a whole ton to say about MSI Afterburner because I'm not personally super, super familiar with it. I only use it for the in-game overlay, but you can learn more about MSI Afterburner and specifically how to install it and set up the in-game overlay with our video on the top right hand of the screen right now. So you can click on that and it'll take you to our tutorial. I'll also leave it at the end screen for you if you wanna click on it there. The third and final regular free program that I would recommend you install on your PC is NordPass. This is by the company that makes NordVPN. The company name is Nord. And a lot of people brag about NordVPN and how it does all this stuff and how it's oh so amazing. I personally think NordPass is Nord's most brilliant piece of software. I think it's their most useful. I think it's their best made software, if I'm being completely honest, and I think it has the best day-to-day -day use. What NordPass is, is it's basically a digital vault for your passwords, for your credit cards, everything that you may have uh, spread across a bunch of different places. Like, I know some people will have passwords saved in their iCloud keychain, but they'll also have them saved on Google Chrome, and they'll also have some saved in Edge, and that's fine, but it's really, really nice to have all of your passwords and all of your sensitive uh, documents and data in one place, in my opinion, rather than having it spread across a bunch of different places where you could get hacked in a bunch of different places. Uh, NordPass's security is award-winning, and I have personally never encountered any problems with NordPass. They have an iOS app, they have an Android app, they have a desktop app, they have an extension for NordPass. All of them are great. All of them automatically sync to your Nord account. And there is a free account which has most of the software's features. I would say if you're looking for the absolute strongest password, not, not security, but if you want some of the features, it is locked behind a paywall. For example, uh, dark web scanners so that if any of your passwords or usernames appear on the dark web, you will receive a notification and Nord can take action on your part. That is locked behind the paywall. I personally pay for NordPass. I think it's a worth it subscription, but all of the basic features like storing passwords, storing usernames, storing emails. You can have unlimited passwords in your password manager on the free plan. It's just a great piece of software that I would really recommend if you have passwords in a bunch of places and you're a little bit worried about your password security being like that. Now it's finally time for the bonus piece of software for content creators. So I don't know about you, but I shoot a lot on my phone. A lot of pickup shots, I shoot on my phone. A lot of B-roll, I shoot on my phone. And from an iPhone, I know it's easier with Android, but moving video files from an iPhone to a PC can be a nightmare, especially if you have to go through iCloud. Don't get me started on transferring footage through iCloud. It's really, really aggravating. But a tool I found probably about three years ago now that has literally saved me hours in terms of editing is Simple Transfer by, I believe it's Rambax LLC, is the company that makes the piece of software. Basically, it's really, really simple. All you do, you download the app on your phone. You download the app on your desktop. You open the app on both. You put your video file in a folder on your phone, like I just have a folder called Footage. Put all of your video files in that footage folder, go select it in the desktop app, click transfer, click download, put it where you want to put it. And it's just as simple as that. It's super, super simple. It's really, really fast to set up. It's 
easier than other desktop transfer apps. It's, in my opinion and personal experience, safer than other footage transferring apps. And it's easy at the end of the day. It's much, much easier than other file transfer methods that I have used in the past. This has saved me a whole lot of time while editing, and I really hope it saves you some time as well if you do video editing and content creation. Those are my three free apps that I personally believe every desktop should have. Do you have some applications you have on your desktop that you think are essential? Comment them in the comment section down below, because I reply to every comment and I do my best to reply in a timely manner. If this video helped you out or if you enjoyed it, please go ahead and leave a like, that way you'll see more like it as well as subscribing with the bell on because again we're going to be doing some gaming videos and some live streams coming very very soon also check out our affiliate program if you're interested in winning a free pc i'll leave that link in the description down below thank you all so so much for watching my name is timmy here with serious power pc and be sure to tune in next week for a brand new video